Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and we're going to be bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be solo in the Templar, and it's on hard mode, as you can see. And um, basically, somebody on YouTube left a comment saying, "Why don't you go on solo Templar then?" So this is basically the whole reason that I did it. Gotta say, boring as shit. <laughs> But first of all, we're just going to get into this anyway, so you can see it's basically Lord of Venus at the minute, and we're going to talk you through it, guys. So don't forget, if you do like it, like, comment, subscribe. Now, learnt a little trick with doing it as well. Um, you can do it the normal way, you can keep shooting him and stuff like that, but that's more risky. If you want a guaranteed kill, basically, you're going to do exactly what I do. So we're just going to teach you how to kill the Templar without dying or anything like that. Um, there are people who do kill it normally as well. Uh, this is just legit. We're not going to cheese him. We're not going to do anything like that. We're just going to basically have a bit of fun with it. Right, so the relic, your top right bumper trigger will allow you to move faster in the air and obviously your back right bumper will be your ground slam and jump up. You've got your cleanse when you get mad and you've got the supercharge which you're going to use on the ship. Now the trick that I found to doing this guys is all you really need to do is just kill these oracles, kill a few ads and just wait until it gets in rage because Quite interestingly enough, as soon as he gets enraged, he does spawn Minotaurs and he actually spawns all these Vex as well. However, the one thing is, if you're doing this sort of route that you can see that I'm doing right now, basically you're going to find that they don't actually push up to you and that they actually stay in one place so it's nice and easy for you. So we're just basically going to show you that as soon as we get to it. It's only 11 minutes this video guys, so I thought I'd cut it down a little bit. Because I'm sure you wouldn't want to see me waiting. Obviously I'm yeah. pretty bad aim right there. And we're just going to go up and get this oracle in between these right now. And one more ground slam. There you go, we'll take that one. So basically all we're doing here is we're just getting our supers up, we're going to try and move the boss now. One of the main things when you're doing this as well is when you super him, obviously he's going to change positions as well. So you really want him in good positions just so you can get those rockets into him. Or if you've got a fully upgraded icebreaker for example, you can see me rocket in here for example. Now when you do drop the relic you get around about maybe 5 seconds give or take. I wouldn't really risk 6 seconds, otherwise if you leave the relic too long you're basically dead. Right, so you can see him up here in the corner of my screen, I'm marked by an oracle so I'm just going to get a good bounty to find. Cleanse myself, wait for my super, and hit him, go to the wall so I can ground slam this. Like so. Bring out my rockets. Fortunately, I decide to go against that because if I get hit again, the splash damage could kill them. So we're obviously marked by the Oracle, but that isn't to worry. If you do get marked, guys, you can always cleanse. Just don't hold your cleansing for too long. Right, so we're just going to move on. Kill some more oracles, have a bit of fun. I can't believe this was uh, basically a challenge that somebody set me as well, uh, saying why don't you go solo Templar because you're not good enough, etc. I'm not being funny, but what exactly is hard about this? <laughs> some people may find it hard, but yeah, this was my first attempt and he ended up dropping him on the first go as well. Here we go. You can see how we get the rockets there. Pick up the shield again. Cleanse immediately. And then move on. And you can actually drop the shield just to reload your guns as well. You see how close I'm getting to Templar there? Obviously, it's going to get quite hard. Right, so now that I've checked that my rockets are reloaded. 
We're just waiting for that super to come before we use that super, we'll just cleanse ourselves. Now this is what I ended up figuring out for you guys. Obviously you've got this part here. Now the reason I said if you just chill out, kill a few oracles like you see me doing at the minute. You see that oracle on the far left hand screen there? Can you see it? You see how it's not like a fully built oracle? It means that it's basically bugged out. So what happens is the oracle stops spawning after turn, so you won't have to cleanse yourself anymore and you won't have to be worrying about that extra button. So in other words, it's going to make it a lot more easier for you, as you can see here, I'll just put the rockets in him like so. Pick up the relic, cleanse myself. I actually decided to use the Galahorn to start with, but to be honest with you, um, judging from doing this, I would say the Icebreaker is the most effective right in his eyeball. You're going to be able to take him down a lot quicker with a fully upgraded Icebreaker. <coughs> So all we're doing here is we're just switching our positions. You can see the Praetorians are right down at the bottom as well. Now when you're here you want to be careful because when you super you need to jump down quick because you're going to get that ring around you and take the ring out. Right, so we're supercharged and we're just reloaded. Obviously he's going to change positions now. Now we just had to check he's not on this side. Now you see how those Praetorians are pretty much stationary, they won't come towards you so don't worry about that guys. It's very rare that anybody will need to solo this, I mean you can pretty much cheese him and push him off within, what, give or take, 30 seconds. If you're fully supercharged, yeah you can do it. Now what you want to do to break that shield is tap A and then tap your right back. You can see I'm hit down hard so I'm just going to wait. Have a little dance at the same time. <clears throat> now that's a bit more of an awkward shot. Right, so he's right in the corner, we're just going to wait for it now. Now you can see on my screen, this is the interesting thing guys, and um, basically this is why if you let him go to the Enrage timer, it's going to be a lot easier for you just to solo Templar, it's a very easy tutorial for you. And we're just going to hit him there, and we're just going to force him to move his positions. Reload our gun. And we're not going to use that rocket because it's going to go straight into the wall, I'll guarantee you that. And you can see the bugged out oracle there. We are marked by an oracle, like I said, that will end up stopping. And you can see him on the right hand side of me now, so we're just going to supercharge and we're going to get straight behind the wall because we need to cleanse ourselves and we need to get rid of the shield at the same time. I'm going to plant a rocket in it. Now what that's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to simp up. Now you are pretty safe simping here guys, nothing's going to come towards you unless you go too far forward. If you go too far forward as into the oracle on the left side that you see there, basically what's going to happen is one of the Praetorians will come up the staircase. It's nothing nothing hard to handle, but obviously you'd have to take him out. Alright, so we're just moving the armor a little bit now. like the satisfaction because of the person who ended up leaving the comment is not going to expect me to have actually done it so I'm kind of like yeah pretty, pretty much psyched about that right now. We're just going to get rid of the shield again. Boom. And shield down. Look it. See his chance position again. See those 
Guardians though, they still can shoot to Arduous, as in if the other land safety. But you can see this whole entire left side perfectly clear. There's nothing here whatsoever. We're just going to shoot the Guardian, get rid of the shield. We're using that wall just to make it a little bit easier just to get rid of that shield. And you jump up. And we're going to place our last two straight in the Templar, pick up the relic, and jump to good end, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you did like the video. Like I made promises to you guys, if you give me challenges, I'll end up trying them on. Um, I will never back down from a challenge, so it's just one of those things. Got any new challenges for me? By all means, leave them in the comments. I'd love to read them, love to see them. And funnily enough, it's not actually down just yet. We've got about two more shots. I'm not going to finish him here. So like I said, you don't want to be. When you get to this point, you don't want to be over enthusiastic as in you're hit down to a quarter of your health. If you take a good splash damage from him, you will go down. It's as simple as that. So we're just going to wait it out, have a little dance, have a drink of my brew at the same time. And now we're going to finish him off. Right, so here we go. Supercharged, hit. Forgot about that. Get rid of that. And just plant our last rockets in him. So there we go. Plant the second, but it's already down. Pick up the relic and jump stun, guys. There we go. 